welcome or welcome back to my channel so this is an amazon must have it's a portable washer that i ordered off amazon and i had been procrastinating and i wasn't sure if i would like it if i would waste my money and i finally bought it and i'm in love guys so let's get right into it so here you can see we have the wash timer anywhere from 0 to 15 minutes and then we're gonna move on to the middle. You can wash your clothes at soft standard and drain is for draining the water. Spin timer is just for the washer. This is the uh, washer side and this is the dryer side. So yeah. And we have the tube in the back where when you switch it to drain, it drains the water out for you. That's the tube you would be using when it comes to draining the water. But I will be showing you guys later on in the video, so don't worry. Okay, so moving on. This is the tube you will use to fill your uh, tube up with water, your tub up with water. So you connect this side to the washer machine. And then you want to take the other side and connect it to the faucet. Now, as you can see, my water is coming down. And... Um, I have to hold it it's a little fragile I will say that guys it's kind of fragile so I would definitely hold it in place because the first time it came out and water went everywhere it was a mess um, I don't know if you guys can see but when you actually order you will see it says like low medium and high where you can put your water levels at so these are the two little um, pillowcases I will be watching in this video so I got my washing powder, um, my fabric softener. Uh, when it comes to this, I would say tread lightly. Tread lightly with how much washing powder you're gonna use. I guess my washing powder is weak because mine don't get overly soapy, but a lot of people say only use half a cap because it get very soapy. I'm using more because mine is weak and I can just do that. So here I'm dumping it in. I'm gonna dump in the fabric softener as well and then uh, we're going to give it a good stir uh, we're going to turn it on before we put the pillowcases in there so that it can mix around in the water so that whatever you're watching can you know smell good and really get a good you know so you want to use the washer timer and i just did 12 minutes a lot of people like to do 15 minutes but i was just trying to hurry up and get it going for you guys and that's what it should look like just mixing the soap together and I, now I'm going to add in my pillowcases so you guys can see that's my first one and then I'm going to add in one more this machine is so cool guys I love it I'm in love my best friend also told me about it and she loved hers and yeah guys so that's pretty much it when it comes to washing it i'm gonna come back and show you guys how to dry it and drain it but yeah that's pretty much it's nothing to it and Hey guys, I'm back. I just rolled over my um, washing machine, pulled it to the side where the drainer is. And then what you want to do is switch it to drain mode, but hold your tube in place or keep it the way it is um, until after you switch it to drain mode and hold it in your hand because you don't want to make a mess and you don't want to have it on drain mode and it's not in place and water go everywhere. So yeah keep that in mind and now i'm just gonna let it go in the sink and yeah it's a lot of dirty water guys
So right here, guys, after I drain the water out, I'm taking it from the washer side to the dryer side. Um, I'm going to stuff it inside. Don't overdo it, you know. Don't overstuff the clothes. If it don't fit, don't force it. And then you put the little white top to secure it. And this thing is mighty and strong. I'm going to let y'all hear how, you know, forceful this thing is. So guys, set your spin timer on however long you want it to spin. And as I said, this thing is strong and mighty. This is just a side view. As you can see, all that water is draining out, pushing out as it's been. Um, it really dries your clothes like 90%. Like after it go through this, if you hang it up overnight, it definitely will be dry in the morning. So the dryer is almost done drying the pillowcases. And this is pretty much what it'll look like. You'll slow down. I'm just going to um, take my pillowcases out. And they smell so good. And they were like 90% dry. I just put my little white piece back inside and close the top and then we're gonna drain it one last time because it did push out even more water out of the pillowcases so you are gonna do the draining process twice so i'm draining here um and then guys you pretty much just hang your stuff up whatever you have to hang it on and that's pretty much it yeah, guys, I'm hanging them, and that's pretty much it. Be sure to like, comment, and please subscribe if you like what you've seen in this video. And check out my other videos, guys. But this is how I leave it to drain over something at the end of the night. Bye!